So we have a virus with no treatment protocol and no vaccine at this time. This was Hollywood's take on a global health crisis. But according to the World Health Organization, it might not be far off. This is a scenario which could happen. Obviously, it hasn't happened yet, but we are seeing more and more cases of where it is getting close to happening. The threat from the antibiotic-resistant superbug, they say, is global, serious and growing, heralding the dawn of a post-antibiotic era and the end of modern medicine as we know it. Director General Dr Margaret Chan warned things as common as strep throat or a child's scratch knee could once again kill. Hip replacements, organ transplants, cancer chemotherapy would become far more difficult or even too dangerous to undertake. We cannot allow the loss of essential antimicrobials, essential cures for many millions of people, to become the next global crisis. It's a world Sue Fallon has something of an insight into. Her 17-year-old daughter, Samantha, was a fit and normally healthy A-level student until she was admitted to hospital with a virus. Within days, Mrs Fallon was watching her daughter die after contracting MRSA. She started fitting on the Monday, Sunday, Monday, when they took the line out of her neck. She went to intensive care and they sedated her. And then she died on the Friday afternoon. Antibiotics are effectively a selective poison. They target the bacteria in our bodies and leave the healthy cells alone. But as more of those bacteria become resistant, more antibiotics need to be found. And that's where the problem lies. The pipeline for new drugs is running virtually dry and the finances just don't stack up to develop more. From a drug company's point of view, um, antibiotics are not an attractive drug class to really be working on. Um, the real money makers are drugs for long-term conditions or chronic things such as asthma, uh, where patients may be on the drug for life. Which doesn't stop us asking for them when we get into the doctor's surgery. A lot of our patients um, because of the pressures they're under in their everyday lives, feel that they need uh, everything they can to get better as quickly as possible. Their employers are yelling at them to come back to work. They're feeling terrible. They want to get better as quickly as they can. Globally, the picture is very mixed. In China, doctors are fined if they prescribe too many. In India, you can just buy them over the counter. And the problem is not limited to humans. More antibiotics are now used in healthy animals to protect livestock than in unhealthy humans worldwide. Unless we want this in real life, warns the World Health Organization, we must take concerted international action now. Katie Stallard, Sky News.